Hey everybody, it's Saturday, and this is episode 10 of A Tall Cold Glass of Guy Guys. Where the hell are we? Our 10th episode, Baxter. It's a 10th anniversary. Our decennial, let's say. Has it been 10 years already? I'm such an old woman. I used to be so beautiful. Mm. What's that from? Nothing. It's, I'm just a fat old woman. Oh. Gross. <laughs> it's a problem. Uh, so, the last time, as I recall, we got our asses kicked by tiny flying saucers because they gave us a cold. Uh-oh. Is this us starting over? Did we start in the hospital? Uh, yeah, last time we did. But we got to, we, we, case, we just busted out of the hotel, so we got full HP and PP. Uh... Full of PP. Ready to start this journey. <laughs> All jammed full of PP. And, uh... Mm, not... Not a good thing for a kid of Lars' age to say. No. How old do you think Lars is? That's a good question. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. He got me! That Cobra man. King Cobra here. <laughs> Andrew, that is clearly Cobra Commander. <laughs> Do as I command! I don't... What? <laughs> uh... Did you read all that shit? Oh. He, he just... He used toothpaste or something to make his breath... <laughs> We were okay, complaining so... about this game last time. Never mind, this game is awesome. <laughs> well, we, we were just... Before the, the show started here, we were talking about, uh... Like, how... What were we talking about? How hipsters ruin everything? No. <laughs> no, not that. Um, oh. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, anyway. Uh, uh... Oh, like, h how we think we're progressing <laughs> in this game. Are, are we... I don't know. Um, we, we don't actually get comments or anything on these videos, so... Not yet. Uh, Someday. But but I wonder how how our audience might think we're progressing in this YouTube video. I think our pace is pretty pretty glacial, because I... Like <laughs> I mentioned before, our... Uh, we keep in, we're still encountering, like, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, like, there's this little... Diglets and the hard hats that give you advice about how the game works, and they're still yeah. giving like pretty bone basic. It's like here's what your stats mean. <laughs> and I don't think we'll uh, we'll start to be plugged into what, the game what proper. What that soundstone? I don't know what that what that is. Is that are we just collecting those areas? Is that like our our gauge to the game? Are we like one one tenth through the game because there's ten of those? I think that uh, the B guy gave us. Some of this. Well, we got the foot. Remember that was yeah. And now we can bring up that that screen with the awesome music and uh, psychedelic, you know. Yeah, they call it crazy business in the background. Uh, I think I think that's a that's a gauge of how like I think it's gonna be our. Is there play a link to the past where it has you start yeah. off having to get the pendants, and then you have. I to never go, finished uh, that game, but when I did, I get, I think I got near the end. I think I was near the end. If you got to the dark world with the fought with the seven uh I remember the last time I saw you play that game you were fighting that boss you have to hit with the hammer. Which I'm pretty sure starts off in the dark world, so I may not have been able to beat that boss. That might have been my end point. That, that's a real bastard because the reach on that hammer sucks. Yeah. But I I'm 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 remembering that now. Yeah. Yeah, I think you were about halfway through that game, or maybe maybe like two thirds. Damn, I was only halfway through. There, there are seven dungeons in the Dark World, and then you have to go to the big dungeon. So you have to go to the three dungeon to get the pendants, and there's a couple of side quests you have to do, and then there's uh, the seven dungeons in the Dark World, a couple more side quests, and then you got to go to Ganon's castle and stab him in the face and neck. You remember a lot about that game. I remember a lot of, like, totally irrelevant garbage. Good game. I'm like that with, uh, Ocarina of Time, though. 
Yeah. Like, I remember everything about that game. I played that game so much. Oh yeah, but, but the reason I brought it up was that I think I think maybe this giant stone, this that this soundstone thing might be the first part of it, because oh, Buzz yeah. Buzz seemed pretty. He was like, you need to get this thing so you can go fight. Oh, well, that went well. Uh, and Buzz Buzz seemed pretty like he's like, this is the thing you need to get it, guy gas. Mm, I love it when a plan comes together. So it's probably we have all, each one of those uh, uh, places on the soundstone menu yeah. are, uh, each one of those is like a distinct area, and at the end we're going to go to the boss area. And use all ten sweet sounds or whatever. How many things are there on that thing? Let's go look. Good soundstone. Do it. Okay, so there's eight on here. And then the one in the center is probably the boss. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, right, so we haven't made a lot of progress. I think our, our, our pace has been pretty slow because we like to goof off. And, oh, God. But, like, we're back in this area. I, we were just here. Yeah, we died we in the next area. So... I thought the next area was where the pencil is. We had, we, we had a device that destroyed the pencil. But, I mean, we got that in our save. Uh, should be. We didn't die without saving. Between the I think time this we game... Got rid of the pencil. I think you just sort of carry on from where you... Uh, damn it, stop stealing all my points. Asses. <sighs> Finally. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I need okay. to be keeping our time, right? Say again. I need to, uh, I wasn't keeping our time very well. We're at 10, 10, 10 right now. Okay. So, what do you think? We've been doing this for about 10 minutes. That sounds about, oh my god. How am I getting my ass kicked by this tiny plant? Bastard. Oh, sorry, it's 10.30. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go until uh, 11 or so. Oh, okay. uh, That'll be sure. a, a solid 40-minute show. Um, I thought we were trying to make these shows about half the length, though. Either way, go until we get tired. Okay. Uh, at any rate, I think this game is... Uh, from the other times we've died, it has seemed pretty forgiving on the, on, on the front of, like... Damn it, why can't I remember any words today? Uh, it seems like you don't lose anything when you die. Whoa. What does green mean? You don't oh. lose even progress through the levels? I mean, you don't... You keep your equipment and stuff, I guess. Yeah, th I, I, I think we've always kept our money and our experience and horrible sounds that make my head hurt. <laughs> I hate that. This is what we lost to last time, okay, these yeah. floating clams. They hit us with a cold beam, which mean, meant we constantly lost health and we just didn't, we didn't have any cold remedies. But the this time Flying I... Oyster <laughs> would be a good, a good name for like a lesbian bar. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, for God, what is all this trash? Why are, why do we have this? I don't have any healing items. This is... We're gonna die. I think we might... We should turn back. This is where the pencil was. I remember it. Yeah. And so we gotta... We gotta swing up over there to where the pencil was. But first... I'm gonna go talk to that orange kid and apple kid and see if they can do anything about this busted bullshit they gave us. Maybe I'll deposit some... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah, you used the uh, broken machine last time and something happened to it. I, I think we used the the orange machine, and it broke, and became the broken machine. And then the other guy oh. gave us a thing that would destroy pencils. Like, we had to go to the pencil and then just turn around and come back. This game is stupid, yo. Good. You're right. I'm finding these goddamn plants. So my, my perception of this game might be a little strange, because it seems like a, like a really slow game to me. Yeah, I think it cut... the combat, I think, is part of the problem. And also, 
The fact that we keep screwing it up. Also, I think playing a game like this once a week is a little bit weird. I think if, if we were playing it, like, daily, the, the, the pro- like, a, a steady progress would be more apparent. How would you normally play a game like this? Let's say you're... you're ten years old. I'd come home and play it for, like, 30 or 30 minutes or 45 minutes after school. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't play in like in like super long bursts. I, I totally would. Like one night you stay up all night and play the whole game. I do that on like Friday and Saturday, and then like Sunday afternoon, but not during the week. And my parents wouldn't, wouldn't tolerate that kind of thing. Come back. We gotta do something. With it's this. just that that's sort of the way you you do things now. Yeah. I feel. It's like you, you'll you'll blow an entire night playing one game and then not play a game for two or three days. I always feel really weird if I don't if I play a game in like a sh a really short uh Oh my god, what the f what the hell? There he goes. That was fun. What? Lord have mercy. That didn't go well at all. Well, I think that mushroom on my head again? made me confused. <laughs> Let's just do all of that again. <sighs> again, I, don't, I think we don't lose anything. So I got, I Welcome like... to episode 10. <laughs> Spend 50 bones on this guy. Talk to the orange kid and apple kid about this busted machine. Get some healing like items. Can make a good cartoon show? Earthbound. Yeah. As long as it's you got know, this like, kid like there was a Mario the cartoon show, and I think there was a Zelda cartoon show for a while. And Ness was one of the characters they picked for uh, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. He he needs to team up with Kirby. Oh, there should be a Metroid TV show. <laughs> just, I'd watch that. Samus just never talks. Ever. Nah, she, she'd probably have a, uh... She'd be a, a tough chick like like the chicken ghost in the shell. That'd be cool. Did yeah. you play uh, Metroid the other M when you had your Wii? So no, Wii. but I, I remember, uh... I remember hearing about it when it was out. Yeah, I heard it was rough. Like they, they, they... Was that the one where, where she's supposed to be all, um... Like, motherhood as a motif throughout the entire game? Yeah. And, like, but she's she's voiced, and apparently the, the character... Like, the, the way they characterized her was really unfortunate, because she's... an idiot, first of all, and then, like, she's totally... She's supposed to be, like, this... She fights, like, whole races of hard-assed aliens alone, and then in the game she's uh, like totally dependent on all the, the male characters. It was just really weird. That's what I heard anyway. Yahtzee hollered about it a bunch on his uh, videos on the internet. I find it great that we consume all our, our, like, video game general culture knowledge from, like, uh, parodies, you know? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that Yahtzee video thing isn't a parody, per se, but yeah. it's, uh... But it's, it's, like it's definitely show, got, like, a shtick. You know? It's yeah. like, it's like, you know, a game can be pretty okay, and he'll still excoriate it for five minutes for your... I and mean, that's one of those things that... The only reason they're able to market stuff like that is that it's both informative and it's sort of hilarious in itself. Yeah. What are these things? Oh. Cars keep spawning in on the edge of the screen. I love that it's called the Chaos Theater. <laughs> wasn't that a thing in, in... I think I may have mentioned this before. Wasn't that a thing in uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World? I never, never saw that. Oh, I love that movie. 
was real good. Alright, how do you feel about ditching this broken machine? No, dude, that's a quest item. Mm. We can't drop anything- Ugh. We need healing stuff. We can't, like, go into battle without it. And we have all this uh, fucking wait, trash. Wait, don't drop the broken machine. I mean, that is... That is the quest item. I bet it doesn't even let you drop it. Let's see. If it's a quest item, we won't let us drop it, because I've seen that before. Like, you can't drop the bicycle. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Well... Ugh. You're right. I hate when you're right about stuff. <laughs> can't get rid of the bicycle. What do we need the fry pan? Uh, it was we don't even gonna... have that character yet. Maybe we'll send... We should uh, find a phone and send uh, the service. And put it, put it with those guys. Oh, that's right. There's two guys in that room. Yeah. You can deposit it with the uh, escargot company. Call them on the phone. There's two escargot guys in that room. I, I, I <laughs> say that like I remember. Uh, what can I do for you? I need a pickup. Roger that. Go outside, and they'll send a dude. There we go. Why is this place such sinister music when this guy shows up? <laughs> this game kind of has a disco theme to it. Like, there's that guy, and that guy that twirls down from the sky. <laughs> you know? You think this game uh, should have a, uh... Like a soundtrack by Dishingus Khan? <laughs> Tucson, Tucson! Da, 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 that would rule. It would make me want to play this game constantly. Uh, can this... Jackwad... Maybe I'll do a, uh, a painting of, of like, a, a really serious, really dark reinterpretation of Earthbound. A little bit of the, the old alt, alt art. I always like that stuff in, uh, <laughs> comes up on, like, 4chan or whatever, and you get, like, just really gross depictions of, like, the characters from Toy Story, and you're just like, ugh. <laughs> like, it's all, like, grimy and unpleasant. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about all those Simpsons ones, and... <laughs> They've all got the jaundice. Yeah. <laughs> the hell is a skip sandwich? Yes. Give me another skip sandwich. Yes, I do. Give me yet a third. No! 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 Shit! <sighs> I have to eat this cookie. I hate cookies. Find out what a skip sandwich does while we're at it. I hate this game. The inventory in this game is ass. Uh, we don't get to carry nearly enough stuff. I really hope it gets bigger when we, we get more guys, or also I hope, really hope we get to ditch some of this stupid trash that we have, where we are compelled to carry around. Yeah. Or, or like we said, when you get a full party, it, it's probably just sort of held constant. Throughout the game, you only have that slot, but every character has a slot, and eventually you have like four dudes following you around. Yeah. Oh no, I got rid of the map, and now I don't know where to go. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I know exactly where to go. Did we ever go in the bus station? Are we in, uh, three, three town yet? We're in... Tucson. We need to go get Naomi. Okay, we're, we're still in Tucson, and we're, we're on our way to... Yeah. What was it? We need to go to the Happy Happy Village to find Naomi, because she was kidnapped. And uh, I think that will open the, the road to Threed, or possibly let us get into the chaos. Threed is what I was trying to think of. I kept thinking, it, was like, it wasn't just something as dumb as Threeville, or... <laughs> Threesburg. Threeville Library. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. 
What? Check our time here. <laughs> that bus just backed up. <laughs> oh, there's, no, there's, there. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh. <laughs> no. Like, look, man, you can get on this bus, but this bus is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> bus driver's like, I am wasted. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Let's get... Are we driving this thing to like the 18th century Caribbean or something? <laughs> They're just past the. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop here. This is bat country. This is pretty cool. You know, we got in that bus, and now we're going at a, you know, Ooh, a 30 degree angle. Oh! oh. <laughs> we turn like... Oh! I've never seen a, a car with a negative what the hell was that turning thing? radius. Oh, there's ghosts! <laughs> oh, no! Could we go here if we weren't in the bus? I guess. Could we just come here on our own? This is a total disaster. What? Wait. Wait, did you even have any agency in there? No. Oh. <laughs> what was up with those ghosts? <laughs> Free the screen! Who <laughs> the fuck knows? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, so where are you now? Uh, down here near the tunnel, I guess. Suck to this asshole. You never been to that tunnel before, right? That's no, I've, I've never walked all the way down here. It's the two three tunnel. <laughs> Let's talk to uh, old Vinnie Jones here. Well, so on one side it's two sun, and on the other side it's three. Did you just get to three? No, it, it came out at two sun. Just like that, the, the thing said, it's like the bus came out on the two sun side of the tunnel again for some reason. Oh, you were on. You were in three. No, I was in Tucson, and we tried to go to Threed, and for whatever reason, those ghosts prevented us. The bus oh. just... It went in on the Tucson side, and came out on the Tucson side. This whole game is a Mobius strip. I don't... Okay, I, I didn't catch on to what was going on there. <laughs> you backed me into a corner of creep. Oh, He's an old party man. Reeling. He continues to reel. Uh, yeah. Take it. Maybe I don't read enough in this game's text. Let me know if I, know if I if I tap through it too fast. No, it's not that it's not that you're going too fast. It's just that uh, I see you do that and. And since I'm not the one playing the game, I'm not really thinking about what's going on in the text box. I'm, like, watching for, you know... <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want any part of this hellish fish... Oh. You, you, you had to know you were going to get caught by that thing. Yeah, but it was funnier to make that noise. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll agree to that. She wielded yeah, the shopping time? bag. Ugh. What is she holding in her left hand? Uh, she has a parasol and a purse, it looks like. Oh. Uh, well, we turned her back to normal. Is that what's going on? Or are these, uh, uh, like, copies? I think, the the blue, I think the blue people are have been infected by that happy, happy religion or whatever, somehow. Let's see if we can do anything about it. Because I, I thought you would... I mean, uh, you go to the marketplace, uh, the, the uh, uh, Tucson <laughs> marketplace, and you see that cobra guy. Yeah. You know? And he and he's he's just fine. But then you go uh, around the corner and he's, he's blue and he's crazy. So, I think these are copies. Something here is like cloning the village people. 
Oh, oh god. If you had a clone of the village people, <laughs> 24 hours a day concert. Do. I would have five copies of the village people, and they'd be on a rotation. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh, you just you, you just this one clone not the gonna... village people and send them out to parties and stuff. This one <laughs> won't get get off my nuts. Oh no! Oh, oh they're gonna just transport you back. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, oh, oh, for a second I thought I was gonna get stuck in a. Damn it. Take them back from the app. Hell with these people. It looks like that's that's gonna be one of the sort of constant enemies. Yeah, the the blue faced people. I mean, how the hell we get up here? Like you you will have to fight them yeah. until uh, until this level is over. You know? I, and they'll I, just always be around. It, it might be a way for you to level up. Maybe you're supposed to. I think there's something to do with that happy, happy, the happy, happy village we're supposed to go to to rescue Nate. Well, yeah, but that, that's like, that's like the frame for this quest. Yeah. You know, we're Blue on... people and... We're on the Tucson quest here. We're gonna get another soundstone image and, like, like that, this will constitute a, a unit. Yeah. In the game. And then we're gonna get to three, and it's gonna be the third one, you know? Yeah. Life up! Get this thing. Oh, that reminds me. I should be. I should be. Uh, be ordering my new uh, mic soon. So soon, my voice will not sound so unbelievably on the phone. Christmas just happened. Indeed. So did. what? Uh, yes. What? How was your haul? Uh, Christmas? excellent. I think. Got uh, a couple of cool pens for my folks. Like fancy calligraphy pens. Um. Really nice sh shirt and some gift cards and whatnot. So you're gonna pursue this calligraphy thing? I'm gonna keep using crazy pens, and I think I might try to get make my handwriting more interesting. A tall, cold glass a, of penmanship. Yeah, like a like a class, like a like a video or something. I'll do a bunch of find something like that. Yeah, I'll do a, like look at a bunch of videos online and stuff and see if I can make some progress that way. And if not, I'll have to. See what, can you get uh, a book? I don't know. Can yeah. a book teach you how to hand handwriting? I'm sure I can explain some of the techniques and give you st like the kind of things you need to practice. It's like some of the videos I've looked at already. It was just like, just find a you know find instructions for a script you want to use, and then just continue copying passages out of books until you're good at it. Well, it's not really just that. You, yeah. It's about learning the, the different strokes. <laughs> but I'm sure there's... I'm sure there's... nasally today. You go... Winter. Straight, yeah. I'm always stuffed, stuffed up in winter. I was getting those, like, horrible nosebleeds in winter. It's no good. Really? Yeah. Ugh! Take that! You ruffians. Damn it. Stop it! Damn it! Combat. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Damn it, boom, Howard. We're just constantly backtracking in this game. Yeah. I feel like this game should get considerably easier once we have another party member, because then, like, at least we'll have left some more capabilities. I feel like I'm like, just eternally out of PP. Like, it, it might be one of those to... things where, uh, you know how, how a lot of times they'll say things like, the first level in this game is the is the hardest because you uh you yeah. don't have any Our gear sucks. Or, yeah. Our spells all suck. We have to like ooh, oh. the tree is. Oh, on I the remember move. that. That's not a. Oh, it's it is an enemy. Oh hey. I thought you were. 
I thought you were hitting those and not finding these last time. There was one that was like jammed up against the riverbank for some reason. Ha ha! I missed hitting a frelling oak tree. <laughs> Lars, come on, buddy. It's an oak tree. <laughs> oh god. It's a ferocious oak tree. It's ferocious. I apologize. That is episode 10 <laughs> of our show. I don't have to kill ourselves. Well, let's. I don't know. Let's get to the save point. You yeah. know? Ah! Let's say we'll. If we, we'll either die or get to the next save point. We, we stop. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you read that? No, what was that? Said, the territorial oak burst into flames. <laughs> In so doing, it did 200 damage to us, but died before our uh, our HP meter ran out. Good heavens! Did you cause that? I, I think is I that like? I think maybe that's what you, it's like. It's death animation or whatever. It might be. It might be like a self-destruct sort of oh. sort of attack. Oh, check this out! I'm hauling ass now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no! <sighs> Great. There was a magic butterfly here a minute ago. I want to make it appear again. I don't think it's going to work. Walk, walk off screen. Walk a significant distance off screen. It was over here by the edge of the, uh... Yes! Nice. So do that. One more time, and we'll have maxed out our PP or PP again. I'm gonna be able to handle some of this business over here. Yeah. Infinite butterfly. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Infinite butterfly. Infinite butterfly is the name of my new indie prog rock group. <laughs> <laughs> You got nothing! Except for this! Blah, blah. No, don't do that! Plenty of experience. Yeah, I think that that's probably the the reason these two towns are so separated. We're probably going to have about this sort of level of uh, uh, raising our our level yeah. experience between levels or areas, I guess. Uh, okay. Do I sound all stopped up to you? A little bit. It's not too bad. Yeah. Make a pro- oh. Hello. No, there's a problem. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I would not describe this bridge as being, quote, impassable. <laughs> it's just been destroyed. <laughs> Good me, butterfly. It has ceased to be a bridge. <laughs> so. It's just some logs in a river. Ooh. Ooh, a croissant. Are you hearing that too? That yeah. Yeah. Is that is that supposed to be happening or is that? Yeah, I think this is real life. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, out it's here. it's part of the music. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like a like a bee or something <laughs> around us. Whoa, there's a bomb in there. What? Next person we run into is gonna Car get careful, up. Lars. <laughs> I don't want to fight that. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's <laughs> a butterfly up here now. No, okay, so it's going to be the bridge. You're going to have to figure out a way to fix it. I guess. Well, no, that bridge is I mean, just, that's the only just reason they the have that side. guy there, right? I think we have, maybe we have to help him out on the way back or something. All right, let's do this. On the way back from what? I mean, wasn't that the end of the line? 
I don't know, maybe we just went the wrong way. He used a vacuum attack. What? Maybe this is that weird tree from Kirby that makes the wind happen. I love that song. <laughs> I'll listen to that even. Uh, just pull it up on YouTube or something. I did it that. again. I think that's like a. Uh, I think you're right. I think it's, it's like last hurrah. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, yeah, use some more of those um, hamburgers. I'm just uh, got life up. It's all I wonder so if you'll fast. have like a, a if you're gonna fulfill the RPG trope of having a um like a healer, a tank, <laughs> and a I hope so, because we we definitely need somebody that's a little bit sturdier than than this kid. And I wonder if Lars is gonna be like the um the balanced guy. Yeah. You Ooh, know, uh, we got that bomb, I wonder what it is. He's like your your cloud in Final Fantasy VII, or he has all the cool mo call the cool moves. Okay, so that thing is just used in. Uh, well, it's just like he's he doesn't take any extremes. Yeah. You know, uh, whereas you always have a guy who's like has really oh. tough armor, but his weapons are really expensive or something. He's got a lot and of. Then you have a hit points. Usually, it's like a chick, and she's like a, a lost princess or something, and. <laughs> She has magic powers. Basically, all video this. games are Chrono Trigger. <laughs> if only. <laughs> this this game is basically just a meat. Oh. It's a reinterpretation of Chrono Trigger. <laughs> no, no fire. We just call it a liberal reinterpretation. <laughs> we never, I've never seen that before. Have you fought that before? I think it's what killed us last time. It's a spinning robot, allegedly. Ah! It gave us a cold. Huh. It's not very tough, at least. I think last time we, we were just, like, really low on health. Yeah, I think we, we just got, got killed by a tree here. or something. I remember this, though. Well, we, we observed that those flying diamond thingies look like the deal from... Oh, from... The alien. Yeah. I used a term with way too many syllables to describe that show as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> the whole that name. That always show is so bad. That show is so bad. I liked it so much when I was like fourteen, <laughs> but it was so bad. I considered assaulting that tree, and I changed my mind. Oh, hello. I think we're close to our... Oh! <gasps> I think we're gonna find the Manson family in that house or something. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get slip past this tree now. Yeah! <laughs> slip past this tree. Yes! Yes! Awesome! Got some better gear. That little, that little buzz started in the music again, and again, it made me <laughs> think it was a, a, the sound effect a certain sprite was making or something. Equip. Uh, put on. Oh man, our, our defense is gonna go way up. Yes! Do you think it's a hard hat, like a construction worker would wear, or just a hard hat? Hmm. Like a hat that's just been encrusted with sweat, so it's kind of crunchy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I choose to believe that. The causes of its hardness are sort of beyond... Oh, <laughs> beyond our kin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, god damn it. But it's a hat that happens to be hard. <laughs> I can... F Jacques Hughes, little UFO. Right. Look at him, he's scared. He's hiding behind his mammy. <laughs> Please stop making that sound. 
It's 11.03, by the way. Just so right. you know. Let's see if we can get to that house, and then we'll call it a... Call it a time. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm not having a blast playing Earthbound, but... Uh, I don't know how hard... I mean, the longer they get, the less interest we can ever hope to, to garner from this. Yeah. We're making progress, though. We've made it across the... Yeah, yeah, oh. Yes, I do. Uh. Oh. Uh, I never used a travel charm. Throw it away. I need that sandwich. Ding! Ooh, we learned a new power. First, we need to take care of this cold. Offensive. We'll learn what it does. In, uh, God dang it! These plants, man. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. The magic butterfly made me real. Uh, no. Around it. Shut up. No. I'm gonna get to the. Could have gotten past it that time. Yeah, but we need the. Could have gotten experience. on the other side of it anyway. What does Flash do? Ooh, it costs less PP. It didn't work. Great. It's one of those. Oh, but it had the same symbol that you have on your soundstone. Maybe that that attack gets more powerful as you get more soundstone images. Ooh. Stop it! Stop shocking my brain! What does that attack end with, like, a trumpet fanfare? <laughs> no! I haven't gotten you yet. This is an extremely flammable tree. Maybe it takes off a percentage. Maybe that's a percentage attack. No, it's, it, does, it says it straight up does 356 damage, but like the Diglett told us at the beginning of this area, the, um... It, you know, like, the reason your HP is a meter is you can do stuff while the meter is still ticking down, even if it's ticking down to zero. So if you can, if you can beat the enemy before it finishes ticking down, I assume this is more important later on, your HP is way higher. But if you can beat him before it t continues ticking down, you don't take the rest of the damage. Which is pretty dope. Is this like an active time battle game? Because that ticker kind of goes pretty fast. I mean, I... That seems like a level of finesse, imply, implies a level of finesse way beyond what the, you know, super, would never be demanded of you in a Super Nintendo game. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know, maybe they, maybe this is, I don't, I don't think of Earthbound as a super technical sort of, uh, like a Street Fighter kind of game, <laughs> you know. You know, they were going to be counting frames and trying to determine yeah. what commands have priority. That beam has priority over my spine. For God's sake. Yes. I cannot wait until we kill those things just by touching them. Oh, damn it. Ah, I'm sick of fighting. I want to know what's down there, but I don't want to fight these robots. <laughs> First, you have to type for all of Let's see if we can make Flash work again. Or, do, or, I forget how it works. When two of them attack you, does the other one show up after this one's dead? No. Like a new enemy has entered the ring or something like that. I think that can happen if there's another enemy on the screen when you come out of battle. But, uh... Normally, if, if they're close enough, they'll just all join the battle at once. Yeah. Ugh. That's right. Go! 
God. This is intolerable. Hit him. Fuck. What? Good lord. That was yeah, atrocious. That's weird. Miss some more Lars. You, you just could not get a word in edgewise. There's a present down there, but I don't want to have to fight all those plants. Well. Yeah. Is that where you're supposed to go in that cave, or is that where you came out? I think that's where I need to go in. You've already been down there. Plants. Probably be some fairies in this cave. I'm gonna be pissed. That snake sucks. You were um repelling the snakes before. Yeah, they are fleeing from my steely gaze. Yeah. Steely Dan. I took that cookie. I'm gonna eat that cookie. Ha! <laughs> He's just looking at me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'll take that one. You're not experience. going back. This isn't the way you came to Tucson, was it? Oh. Oh God. Welcome. Oh, it's it's another uh, tutorial diglet. Hmm. I am not your enemy. I am just a plain old mole. You are such. Oh, I'm not gonna do that voice anymore. <laughs> have you ever suddenly gotten the "you won" message? Why, yes, I have. You are certainly correct, sir. I do not. Those are like those stones in Zelda that you ask questions. They're just around the environment. I think this lady wants to fight me in this arena. What is, it, what is that called? Is there a name for that when, uh, there's just sort of, like, like, totems or something scattered all throughout the environment that tell you... That, that sort of just give you the, about uh, the game. I don't know if there's a special name for that. I'm sure there's one on TV tropes or something. Mr. Carpenter! Oh, <laughs> it's funny you'd be named that, cause, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bank robber. <laughs> he didn't get enough. Uh, no, he's the he's the happy happiest. Oh, he's not a bank robber. He's like a clansman. <laughs> <laughs> that explains why that guy in the other town said people with differently colored faces were the enemy. <laughs> this is too here, We like to bring up some happiness. <laughs> Well, ma'am, I can help you out, because I might have some This is all kind of coming together now. This bag. That's, that's pretty great. It's like a racist parable. <laughs> uh, okay. I can Allegory. use magic, too. Parable. Allegory. Abstain. Which one? It's my right not to vote. Abstain. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I say there, tourist. <laughs> uh, okay. I will give you a twenty dollars. Hooray! I got a postcard. If I give her fifty, want to get a tote bag? I can see why. People say video games are a bad influence. Are they encouraging me to give people like people money from the Hare Krishna? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm not sure. Boing. Doing. Friends. In valley behind three. In valley behind three. Ding ding. <laughs> yeah, I am moron. <laughs> Is that doing or boing? I'm not sure. I think it's boing. Because then he goes into ding ding. So he's just making sound effects. 
Go get uh, that bird. What bird? From that bird over there. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this cow? <laughs> <laughs> I must become one with it, but I'm gonna save our game first. One cow, two cow, red cow, blue cow. One cow to bring them all, and in the cheddar bind them. <laughs> I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's message is always... I, I, I don't understand this joke. Why did they misspell moo? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why is that guy moonwalking from time to time? Ugh. Be sure to do your... I have the sneaking suspicion that I'm going to have to kill everybody in this town. Jonestown style. You do have an orange machine. <laughs> you can make some wicked juice. And then put Strict 9 in it. What's this kid doing? Oh, there's a problem. We need to find a phone and call our dad that we can bounce. No! Wait, that that was Jonestown, right? Where they, they all drank the Kool-Aid? Uh oh That overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Naomi. She's hidden in a mountain cabin. Oh, oh, now I've done it. Wasn't that guy just in the other town? Yeah, he's a plant, man. Oh, uh, oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> Just standing around with one foot in the air. <laughs> Goddamn cult loonies. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a brain slug on him. Oh. He's got two. It's this guy from the hospital. No, I'm good. Oh, dear. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy looks silly. Hello, Pigpen. Ah, uh, that kid is everywhere. What's with all these caves? This, uh, you know triangle just sort of lives all above a bunch of caves. What? I mean, there just happens to be caves in this neighborhood. Their little neighborhood grew up around all these passages of caverns and things. Ooh. A telephone. It's called Dad. Yeah! Uh-huh. Save my game, Dad. You just called me, uh... You left yourself a voice message. <laughs> Alright. I don't understand why you would ever... put money into the ATM. Can you do that? Yeah, there's, there's a deposit, like, option right there. I, I guess, you know, it, it it can read the check, uh, you know, like, electro it uses computers and, and scanning sorts of technology to read the check for you. I think that's how it does it. Okay. Sure. What? Sure. Why not? I'm gonna... Yeah. Where'd my... Alright, I need to get rid of this hat. Ooh. That's good money for that shitty hat. Oh, you can get a deer stalker. <laughs> but they just call it the Holmes hat. You don't know what a Holmes hat is. Yeah, it could be be Holmes in the street sense. So maybe it's like a do rag and a ball cap. <laughs> yes, I would. Thank you, drug storeman. Look at this guy. We... Ooh, fresh nerves. Find a do. 
I think it's cool when your m main character sort of dramatically changes appearance throughout a game. Like, I know like that's not happening him. here, yeah. but I mean, he, he never changes appearance, but that's a thing that I noticed was not happening. Right. Like, like it'd be cool if you can get a ball cap and like like a real RPG where you can equip your character with. Yeah, and, like you uh, actually see the gear you're wearing and stuff. Yeah. Like you could put a ball cap on Lars. And, that lady just said I deserve happen, to be though. struck by lightning because I want to go talk to this dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, go. Onward. Uh. It's obviously a maze. You know, you say there's not a problem. <laughs> but, uh. See, I feel like this is the, the game designers, like, mocking us. <laughs> it's like, oh, you think you know so much about happiness, do you? Uh... Like, what? We... Yeah, we drew one sprite. And we just filled this room... Like, they have a... Like a... Uh... The... The, uh, what tool is it? The spray brush tool from... <laughs> from Illustrator or something. And you just... Just make that one of your symbols and just paint it all over the screen. <laughs> Behold the unlimited power of our custom brush. <laughs> Watch in awe as I animate this sprite wiggling back and forth. Oh, hell. Ah! We just saved, didn't we? We, we need to stop this. Yeah. This mole is Don't playing rough. <laughs> Just, just let yourself die here or something. Negative. Oh, I guess you would go back to the hospital, wouldn't you? You wouldn't yeah. go back to your last save. And that would suck. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of this hellish nightmare. And, uh... I'm call it a day. Start, we'll start back here at the egg-slash-banana stand. Okay. That's kind of a long one. Yeah. Catch you guys next week. Bye.